Hi everybody, this is Dave Schultz from the Chaos Group. In this V-Ray training video, we will cover the brand new RT feature, which stands for Real-Time Rendering. With this innovative technology, you'll actually see realistic renderings generating in real time while you work. This instant feedback can help you save many rounds of rendering and let you finish faster. But before we get going, I would like to thank Educational Insights for their permission in using these two models. They were part of a five product line that was designed with Rhino and V-Ray, and these two apps played a big role in their market success. The scene we're looking at already has a backdrop, several lights, and all materials assigned. However, you can use the RT at any time, whenever you need it, regardless of completion. Even better, anything in the scene can be changed, and RT will automatically update. Let's take a look how it works. We're going to pick one of the viewports to use it, View 01, and I'm just going to go here to the V-Ray toolbar and click on the RT button to get it going. So while this starts up, it's important to note we don't need to change any settings anywhere, such as anti-aliasing, subdivisions, or whatever. We'll get instant feedback on any materials, camera exposure, and all changes to lighting. So here it's started up with the RT render, and you can see the longer you wait, the sharper it'll get but it still looks pretty good right away. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way so we'll start making some of those changes I discussed. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera, just switch it to another view here, and notice as the camera zooms in, the VFB with RT real-time running automatically updates at the same time. Let's go ahead and change the lens here. I'm going to go to the Properties panel. And right now we've got a 30 millimeter lens length. I'm going to switch that over to about 75. So the camera will look like it zooms in and updated instantly in the RT. We'll go ahead and move that back to 30. So you can see those modifications changing right away. Now, if that wasn't cool enough, we're going to go ahead and close the VFB right here. And one of my favorite things is we're going to click on the viewport label and here is a lot of familiar shading, wire, rendered, ghosted, but there's the V-Ray RT. Let's try that. So we've got the usual startup lag of just a couple seconds. So there we have it. The RT is already working in the viewport. Let's just move the camera around a little bit. So I just did a little bit of panning, a little bit of zooming, and now it's catching back up and rendering in real time. I'm going to go down to an, a little bit lower level view. We're going to zoom into a saved setting. So I'm going to show how we can now, uh, instead of moving the camera, we're going to move some of the geometry. So this pair of binoculars here, I'm going to move it in the top viewport, maybe just do a little rotation. And we'll see what happens here in the viewport with the RT. Nice, it's already updated. Let's switch this back to shaded mode. I'm going to get the RT running again in the VFB. So I'm going to click on RT. It should launch the video frame buffer. One thing I want to point out now is the RT engine is based on the same software core as the production V-Ray renderer. So that means your images will always be the same and match your final renderings exactly. Okay, we're going to make another switch and talk about a really cool feature. Go back to Options for V-Ray. And down here at the bottom under the RT engine section is we have different ways to accelerate this. Right now we're using the CPU but many people have very high end video cards. So instead of having a four core CPU, they may have a couple hundred core for their GPU on the video card. So V-Ray RT supports that as well. We can switch over right there. And a change like that will require a, a restart of the RT. So now we're switching from CPU to GPU rendering. And like I said, for a lot of people, this could be considerably faster. Another cool feature of this RT system is it works great with a DR spawner network. And this is the free utility where you can install on other computers to help out the single machine render faster. Now while this rendering continues to refine, since we're in the video frame buffer, we can go ahead and save it out at any time. 
just call this render01, save to my desktop. So the promise of real-time rendering is finally here, and it's built into version 2.0 for no extra charge. Enjoy the power and fun of real-time with V-Ray. Thanks for joining us, and please be sure to check out our other V-Ray for Rhino videos. Thank you.